Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And I just wanted to come and run this trap of mine and talk about the people. When I tell y'all Funky Lineva, I don't know what's going on with Funky Lineva and Claudia Jordan over there down to the Fox Soul. But girl, something is going on. We're going to talk about it in a little bit. Before we get into Funky Lineva and Claudia Jordan and girl, TGIF, girl, and Fox Soul down in the hole, girl, let's talk about Tiana Taylor. So, hmm. Shout out to my sister, my biological sister. She messy. I'm over here asleep, girl, and I wake up and she's sending me stuff. <laughs> hey! So I click on the I click on her text message, and this is what I see. Tiana Taylor, Iman's a bad dad. He's high while caring for our kids. This is an ex this is an exclusive from TMZ. So Tiana Taylor says Iman, you know I cannot pronounce his last name, ignores the safety of their children when they're in his care, accusing him of smoking a little marijuana and being under the influence when he's with them. The singer takes some shots at the former NBA player's parenting skills in a new legal, in new, in new legal docs from their nasty divorce, and Tiana's not pulling any punches. According to the docs obtained by TMZ, Tiana claims her bestie, they didn't put up, up, they didn't put her bestie. I put their bestie because remember Tiana Taylor was down to the internet playing in our faces a couple of months ago when it came out that Iman was supposedly cheating on Tiana, even though they were separated at the time. And she was like, not too much of my bestie. And now he didn't use that girl against her. Girl, Tiana, girl, you kind of put yourself in this situation low key. Because while you were down there trying to protect his image and wanting, to, and wanting people to believe that you had you a good man, Savannah, Quiet as it's kept, Iman was over there, girl, turn that house to shreds. According to docs obtained by TMZ, Tiana claims Iman constantly fails to properly care for their two kiddos, accusing him of failing to feed them despite being in the family home. See, Tiana, she didn't want nobody to know that girl pretty much. She was kind of like some of the other girls. Fooled around, fell in love with a Basically, so she been doing whatever she could do. It's not our business. Don't get it twisted. Ain't nothing on the shade room. TMZ girl neighborhood talk. Ninety five percent of the stuff that they that they that they present to us is none of our business nor concern. <laughs> but we knows it and we mess it and we want to know, right? So she don't have to tell us nothing about their about her marriage. She don't owe us nothing. But I still believe that Tiana didn't want anyone to know that Iman was pretty much, girl, a pookie because she doesn't want to have to live with the fact that she laid down with a man who pretty much is an, is, is an embarrassment. It's okay, Tiana, you're not the only one. Girl, my mama laid down with one too. <laughs> Hello? <clears throat> Excuse me. What's more, Tiana says that Iman smokes marijuana. <clears throat> I know it's not marriage. I know it's not pronounced marijuana. Please don't get in my comment section talking about why. Why is he saying marijuana around the kids and is sometimes under the influence when caring for them? In one instance, Tiana claims Iman put the kids in a ride share in Chicago and had them dropped off at the United Center alone while he had a private driver take him to the arena. Did y'all hear what I just said? Tiana claims in one instance, girl, that Iman put the kids in a ride share in Chicago and had them dropped off at the United Center alone while he had a private driver take him to the arena. Now, I know that little girl. They treat that little girl like she grown. The oldest one. You know, I, I've never really thought that it was cute the way that they hype up, the way that y'all hype up that little girl and how she be acting. She looked too grown for me. Um, but I know y'all, I know, I know they treat that little girl like she grown. But she's not. And if this is true, Iman should be embarrassed. Girl, you really just put your seven-year-old daughter, six-year-old daughter, five-year-old daughter? And your 18 month year old daughter. I don't know how much of a little girl. I mean, how old them little girls are, but they're not old enough to be in no rash by themselves. I do know that. <sighs> it 
And it all add up, wait, add it all up, I'm sorry, add it all up and Tiana claims Iman constantly demonstrates a clear disregard for the safety of the minor children. As we first told you, Iman's denied Tiana's claim that he made her feel endangered while, I mean, when she was with him, and now she's saying he's putting their kids in danger. Girl, Tiana, I don't know. And like, it's just sad all around because Tiana, this, again, Tiana had it in her head that she wanted to protect her man. And she wanted to protect the father of her kids and his image. That's why she didn't want any of this information getting out. One, again, let me just say it, it's none of our business, right? But I think that in Tiana's head, she didn't want this to get out because she was embarrassed due to the fact that she laid down with this person and had a family, right? Because if this man is really over there doing the things that he's doing, but then you're coming out talking about not too much of my bestie and all this extra stuff, girl, while it's none of our business, you also don't need to get, you also shouldn't be coming out Girl, try to act like Iman is the next great thing, girl, after Barack Obama. Shout out to Jonathan Majors, girl. It is what it is, girl. And it's going to be what it's going to be. Now, let's talk about fucking Ineva and Claudia Jordan, girl, and girl, TGIF, girl, and Fox Soul in a hole, girl. So, oh, girl, okay. So... Last night, I was over here minding my business, and I think I was about to make a video. And I was trying to hear, hurry up and get done what I needed to, you know. And I just hopped on YouTube, and I saw Funky I Need Live. And I was like, Funky I Need Live? Because Funky doesn't really ever go live. And I was like, 14,000 people? <laughs> I was like, hold up. What's going on? So I clicked on the video and I was like, oh, he is live. So I kind of caught like I kind of caught like the tail end um, of the video. And so I was like, I need to go back and watch this because it sounded like it sound based off of the comments. Um, I was reading the, the the chat and I was like, girl, is he beefing with Claudia Jordan? So I really didn't know. And then I wasn't even gonna go back and watch the live video, and I was like, you know what? I had went to Chili's last night. And so I was like, you know, I'll just listen to it while I'm at Chili's. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, girl. Fuck it, I need it. It's hilarious. <laughs> I listened to the whole hour live. I just sped it up. Come on. Shout out to the diva for letting me, girl, you know, girl, it took me, you know, sometimes it takes me a while for stuff to stick up here. I be forgetting you can speed up. You can, you can speed it up, girl, on YouTube. So it was, I sped it up. And so it, it didn't take me too long to finish the live. And for the most part, it was like a Hot Topics live. Entertaining, funny. It gave you old school fuck it, Ineva, right? I laughed a lot, girl. Was giggling a lot in Chili's. For those who want to know what I had, girl, I had the honey chipotle chicken crispers with two sides of loaded mashed potatoes. I didn't eat all the loaded mashed potatoes because I kind of got full out the chicken crispers um, and the one and one uh, one side of the mashed potatoes. And then I always get, I got this from my mama, girl. My mama, um, she loved chilies. And so she's the one who told me that when you go to chilies, you get the honey chipotle chicken crispers, girl, ask for an extra side of honey chipotle and girl, and then drizzle it on top of your mashed potatoes. Girl! That's what my mama told me. When I tell you my mama ain't never told me no lie, when I tell you that's the only way I will eat my loaded mashed potatoes at Chili's, I tell them, girl, bring me an extra side of honey chipotle, and then I just drizzle it on top. <laughs> I just drizzle it on top of them loaded mashed potatoes. When I tell you, girl, you're going to be in heaven. Girl, I'm telling you, girl, my mama ain't lying to me, and I'm not lying to y'all, okay? So anyways, it sounds like some mess is going on over there at TGIF, Fox Soul in the Hole. <laughs> okay. Now listen, I don't know what's going on, but it sounds like Funky threw a couple of shots. Um, I was assuming that it, it, the shots were towards Claudia Jordan. I don't know. Um, <sighs> this is what some of what Funky had to say, <laughs> girl. I'm actually like. Uh, of, of course 
course she's talking about me on Fox Soul. I mean, that's just what she do. Um, that's, that's just what she do or whatever. Uh, <clears throat> but what these numbers do? What, did, what these numbers doing? <laughs> Sitting up over there mad over a situation she created. Sitting up over there mad, whatever. Um, don't talk to me. Talk to the talk to you. Talk to them numbers. <clears throat> Who's he talking about? Is he talking about Claudia Jordan? Why does this kept? If we if we if we really want to have a quick, honest conversation, I remember saying, and he, he had mentioned he had mentioned that he had secondhand embarrassment, I guess, for going over to Fox Soul instead of just get just to, in, I guess instead of just building his own, you know, situation on his own channel. This is all I'm gonna say about that. If your goal is to be on TV, then I get how you may have to travel certain roads. Right. Depending on where you are in your career, right, you may have to make a detour. Even if you don't want to be, say if you don't want to be on, say if you don't want to be on TV, but you're not at this, you're not at this place in your career where you want to be, but someone sees something in you and then they say, you know what, I think you'll be good on this show that we want to put on television. And then you'd be like, oh, girl, I really don't want to do TV. I wanted to go this my own route, but, girl, they're offering me this. I could see how you could say, okay, girl, I'm just going to go this route. Now I have to, you know, make a detour in my career. I, I Me personally, I wouldn't mind having a setup like a, say, like a Joe Budden. Kind of, girl, Joe Budden is a millionaire. He makes his money off his podcast, his YouTube, all that stuff. And he really don't have to deal with none of the, the extra stuff that you hear about. In, in media, te you know, television, Hollywood, whatever. I wouldn't mind having a setup like that, right? I feel like quiet as it's kept, Funky is already at a place where he could even have a setup like that if he wanted it to be that way. Now, I guess if his goal is to be on television, then he may have to go, you know, again, make a detour. But... I guess in my head, because it's not a goal of mine to be on television, girl, my, mo my, girl, my goal is to get to the money, right? So that's my goal. And if I can get to the money and live a comfortable lifestyle and leave a little bit for my nieces, then, girl, I feel like I'm okay. You know what I'm saying? And if that, could, if that can come in the, in the form of, like, kind of like, again, like a Joe Budden, then I would be okay with that, right? I just never understood Fuck It Out Eva going over to Fox so. I just didn't. I just, I just never understood it. I never understood it. I just, it, I just never understood it because I, I felt like in my head, out of everybody on that show, Claudia, Al, Funky, even though Claudia is the celebrity of the group, <clears throat> when it comes down to this whole talk show type of situation, I just felt like they needed Funky more than Funky needed them, and. Fuck, he pulled in 14,000 people last night. By himself. I didn't watch Fox Soul like that. But I don't, I don't think Fox Soul, I don't think they was pulling in no 14,000 people. So that just goes to show that Funky really never needed them. That's why I never, I, I would never understand why he went to Fox Soul. I just would never, unless again, he wanted to be on TV and that's the the route that he felt he needed to go in order to get on television. Anyways, but whatever route you need to go in order to get in in order to get to a a place a place in your career, that's a route that you feel like you need to go. But this is one last thing I wanted to play about what Funky said. Yeah, we ain't never had this many riding to the Hold up. Hold up. I'm not gonna play that. That's enough. Anyways, I will say this about Funky. This is the part that I don't understand if we're going to be honest. Funky says he quit. I believe Funky quit. It is a little side eyeish that all of this stuff is happening now, right? 
Now you want to go live every day at 8 p.m., right? It, it, it feels as though there's some beef between you and Fox Soul. If you are the one that chose to walk away from the situation, then what beef could there be? And what need would there, what need is there to go live at 8 p.m. if I'm the one who chose to walk away from y'all? Girl, y'all didn't fire me. Girl, I quit. Girl, I got, girl, I got, girl, I got my panties girl, and I got my stuff and I left. Okay, so I don't care what y'all got going on over there. It, 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 like, I just, I, I don't know if it comes across as spiteful. I don't know if Funky was Funky fired and he feels some type of way. Like what? What's I, I don't know what what's the what's the point of this of someone who walked away from a job, and now, based off of some of the things that Funky said last night, it sounds like there's some beef between Funky and I'm just gonna say Fox Soul. Whether I don't know someone at Fox, but it's 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 some beef there, and Funky is trying to prove a point by letting them know. I don't need y'all. Quiet as a tip, he never needed them. Like, you, listen, you don't have to like Funk and I need, I don't care if you like Funk and I need or not. But I, I, I don't think that it, I think that it would be disingenuous to try and take away what Funk and I need brings to the table and what he brings to YouTube. And I think based off of his numbers last night, that shut a lot of people up. Funk and I need is not someone who even goes live like that. So, no, so, no one it's not like he it's not it's not like he said I'm going live in a week and everybody was waiting around. You see what I'm saying? For for one person, girl, who never goes live to bring in fourteen thousand people, girl, that says a lot. <laughs> okay? That says a lot. And the only thing that you had in your title of video is fuck it, I need a live. Girl, that's it. You ain't have no names. You ain't have you ain't have none of that. It's something going on. It's something going on. It's clear as day between him and Fox Soul. And he's trying to prove something to someone for whatever reason to let them know that I don't need y'all clearly. Y'all need me based off of the numbers that I pulled in last night. Um, girl, when it's mad day, honey, hello? When it's mad day, girl, when it's mad day, Girl, the girls, girl, the mad girl, the mad day. I always let you know what's going on. Girl, it's mad day. I'm sure it's not over between Funky and whoever he beefing with at Fox Soul. Um, I'm sure that the mess will probably continue, and I'll be there here to talk about it. I don't know why Funky brought took his ass over there in the first place. I just don't, I, I guess I, I have to get out of my head that everybody doesn't go the same way. If I had Funky Dineva set up, I said this the other day, you can say what you want to say. <coughs> Excuse me. Funky Dineva got almost, got, I think got over 400,000 subscribers. Funky Dineva just throw out a video, you know, every once in a while. Now he might get back to it more since he's not no longer at Fox. So, but girl, Funky Dineva really sat down. Girl, Funky Dineva really could run YouTube. <laughs> girl. I should think he just kind of like, oh, let me just, you know, get a video out, you know, talk about some stuff. But if he really sat down and got really put, like, really sat down, girl, he can run these YouTube streets. He really good. That's why I don't understand why he took his ass over to Fox Soul. Again, I guess unless he, unless he wanted to be on TV and he felt like that's the route he needed to take. Girl, fuck TV. <laughs> okay? Not if I can make my own coin over here. And I ain't got to deal with all the shit that come with that. Girl, I can make my own money, make a lot of money at that, and I don't have to deal with the mess. <sighs> all right, y'all. <laughs> Vivica A. Fox. <clears throat> Listen. You can't tell nobody about their experiences, okay? Everyone does not have the same experience. Um, Vivica A. Fox 
says she can't relate to Taraji B. Henson's career struggles. Love my girls looking out for each other, but I'm good. So this is what Vivica had to say. Do you feel like um, now is the perfect time to have the conversation that Taraji kind of continued over Monique? You know, you're an actress. You've been out there. Is this the perfect time to kind of talk about that on the right platform? You know, darling, to each his own. Do you know what I mean? I'm very happy, very blessed. And, uh, to each his own. I didn't have that experience, so, you know, but to uh, get your peace out is important. I totally understand that, and uh, I love my girls for looking out for each other, but uh, I'm good. I mean, everyone doesn't have the same experience. I just think it's hard for me to believe that someone like Vivica A. Fox, who I just saw, I've seen Vivica A. Fox like I think in two different commercials. It's like a it's like a car commercial or something. <laughs> Look, work ain't honest, but it pays the bills. Okay, it's like a car. I know I know y'all have seen this commercial girl. It's like a car. It's I think it's her and Ice Ice T. I believe I think it's Ice T, but Ice T got a steady gig down there. Ain't he still down there on uh, Law Law uh, Law and Order? So we know he got a steady gig, right? But and I know he got a. I know that check is real good because you know he been on Law and Order for girl like the last seventy nine years. But it's like a car commercial that Vivica A Fox is on, telling the girls to get like lots or something on the girl camera. Okay, I said, oh girl, okay. It's just hard for me to believe that Vivica A Fox has not experienced what. The other girls have said they've experienced. It's just hard for me to believe that she hasn't. She says that she hasn't. Maybe she was satisfied with the fifteen thousand dollars she used to get paid per movie. I don't know. She got what she wanted. She got what she asked for. But I just don't. I don't know if I believe it. I don't know. I don't know if I believe that Vivica really hasn't had to had to, had the experience. That these other ladies are claiming that they had they've had in Hollywood. She says she hasn't. I just don't know if I believe it. But shout out to Vivica A. Fox. Vivica A. Fox said, I'm good. <laughs> Girl. Vivica said, I'm about, I gotta go take I'm about to go take this, I'm about to go shoot this car commercial, honey. Girl, I'm good. I'm paid. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm gone. I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all have a good day. Bye, y'all.